Here we go. So on the left hand side, we have a recording. And on the right hand side, we have a score. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era Part 22, Composition, Listen, Persist, New. In today's episode and chapters, we re-entered. Again, we're combining our music work with our metaverse work. So we did wanted to do a lot of music exploration and slide deck exploration. And we... What you just heard was an improvisation that we made uh, using our Vocaloid, which you've heard in the last uh, episode. And here we put it into um, a score so we could work with it. But what we ended up doing with that score was uh, we we started riffing off of G, which was this. Then we also began riffing off of C. And basically, there are seven notes in this scale, and we decided to see, could we con deconstruct it? We call it the Raga scale. It's our second appro uh, approach to a Raga scale. And we thought, could we look at it as the same seven notes starting on a C, starting as an A flat, and, and we deconstructed it into parallel pentatonic scales. So this is what mode one sounds like, which is starting on C. And then uh, this is what mode two sounds like, but we actually made it as a composition. So let's listen to it here where we let the scales rip, and then we played the uh, the two riffs against each other. And this is what we came up with. And what we like about that is we showed, um, we showed, for example, when it ends on a G in the mode one, that's a neutral. Mode two, that is a, a major urge. And then back here where we had the dyads, uh, G5, which is just a G5, G, wherever it is. Hello. There. So G5 is can be considered a shared tonic or a major ambivalent. So then we moved on from there and constructed the complete um, set of chords. There are 35 chords. These are all the chords arranged as if C is the root. And down here are all the chords arranged as if A flat is the root. So we learned a whole lot about doing that. And then we ended up composing something from it. Now, before we do that, another riff that we worked on was something in the regular C diatonic scale that we called Hymn 1. This was done straight from memory and uh, sounds like this. So that may sound very familiar to some of you. What we liked about this is we wanted the kind of the 
core base. Bum, bum, bum. And then we wanted the kind of the quicker moving melee. Da, 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 da. And then we had this ornamentation thing. So we're still working on this, but it was in our ringing through our head. And just like that uh, Raga riff was ringing through our head, we thought we'd go ahead and record it and see if we don't end up working with it on something. Now, before we play Metaverse 5, we got to go back and talk about the slides that we did. So again, remember that um, we also wanted to explore our slide decks. And these were some images that we had ready to go. We wanted to add this image into our slide deck. These are images representing the Metaverse. So we got that done and we actually got um, all the way through um, you'll see where we put that slide somewhere down. Where do we put that slide? We put that slide here. There, there it is, right? There. I mean, that image, that little image got put in there, representing a theoretical or emergent space. So we like the abstract GIF quality of it, whereas this science fiction definition of the metaverse, we used the good old um, hero protagonist that we used in previous versions. So we've gone through this whole deck and added some new images and basically um, dressed it up, changed around, took three earlier versions and combined them, including all the references. So we're feeling good about that. We printed this and we need to, we'll QA on it and sleep on it, look at it again. So what we're going to do to bring us home is play Tum -ta -da -da, Metaverse VR Composition Version 5. And for this one, we deliberately went and picked chords from the 35 chord set. And then we showed them as dual functions, so like the D3-2, which sounds like this. It's a D, one, two, three. One, two. It is a tonic in the mode one. It's a full dominant in the, uh, it's a, okay, it's a minor tonic and a full dominant in the two different systems. So that said, we came up with something that we kind of like the sound of. We picked out a backbone and we added a shimmer, which we also call the slow melody, and annotated all the energy stories, and it sounds like this. So what we like about that is combining, I mean, using the 35 chords, but looking at it from two different angles. It's, you could say we're doing stereoscopic vision, if you call mode one and mode two, the left and the right eye. It's a metaphor. And, and the whole thing we're working with the metaverse is that there's multiple definitions looking at the same physical environment, the same you know, fiber optic cable system that everybody uses around the world and the same Wi-Fi towers that everybody uses around the world, but people are looking at it from different perspectives and saying the metaverse is this. No, the metaverse is that. No, the metaverse is the other thing. And we're saying it's all of those things. And it's it's how you look at it. So we have a musical metaphor for the uh, conceptual metaverse. So we also like that we use the repeats a lot because we're kind of sneaking up on the beats and loops approach to music, which is a whole kind of a modern way of doing it. That said, this ends today's uh, 
episode and chapter. Uh, our ideas for next time are to continue slide deck four. We have printed it. We need to QA it. We also need to write a script to go with it. That's coming up in less than a week. And then we had some, um, we've got some music now that we could record and share. Shout outs to Steady Worker who kept their nose to the grindstone. This was a four candle stream, although we didn't light up the fourth candle. Uh, tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.